The era of creative AI for photo editing and creation is upon us, and this is changing how images and various artworks are created. In recent times, we've seen a huge rise in implementation features, which includes in painting, small to large scale approximation of rendered images, content aware approaches for creating and scaling up images, sketch to image, and image to image diffusion. But all these are just the tip of the iceberg compared to what we'll be experiencing in the coming future. We've seen the rise of text to image, which is incredible. And this is now available as plugins in most photo editing apps. But Adobe is pushing the whole AI future of photo editing to a whole new level. During their yearly sneak peek event, they did unveil some mind-blowing AI tools. Few years ago, Adobe mentioned that they were working on their AI engine called Adobe Sensei. This powerful and incredible AI engine has given birth to a whole new set of ideas, technologies, and also new ways of creating. From removing video imperfections, crop sensor feature, tracking, colorization, content aware, sky replacement, and a whole lot more. And with the upcoming trends of AI tools, how we get to edit photos in the future would definitely be quite exciting. With tools like Run MLB available to everyone to work with and also do a bit of photo element replacement and manipulation, this in itself is more of a cheap bit compared to the new era of what photo editing would look like from Adobe based on the sneak peek tools that they just unveiled. Project Made in the Shade is an AI tool that makes dealing with shadows an easy breeze. We all know that dealing with shadows in terms of interaction with shapes are quite difficult and time consuming in traditional image editing softwares. And this is where this project comes in very handy. This uses AI to make 2D and 3D images seamlessly interact on a 2D canvas with an intuitive set of controls which in turn eliminates all forms of complexities with matching and fixing shadows. This new AI technology takes into account depth, lighting and also existing elements on the associated image, enabling artists to move objects around in 2D canvas while casting realistic shadows. At the same time, animated 2D images as well as any 3D object or 2D object can be added to the pre-existing image and these can cast and also receive shadows. Furthermore, light sources can also be changed in real time to fit into what the user is going for. And just simply imagine all of the possibilities that this is bringing to the table. Technologies like this will be definitely useful for those that are trying to make some very nice real-time compositing and also some very interesting and breathtaking photo editing. We've all been in that situation where we would like to change the clothing, the texture of a particular item on a subject or possibly an entire landscape of a single image. Project All of Me changes this process entirely. So instead of making excessive cropping to replace clothes or remove unwanted accessories on a subject, this AI tool uses deep learning to understand the image to be processed and in a situation where we're looking at an image like this, it can proceed to approximate the rest of the image. This includes the body part, the background and the landscape. This can be used to analyze personal carry-ons which can be erased as well and with a few doodles users can define the length of an outfit that they want and also select from a wide range of AI generated replacements. At the same time if you like to use custom textures users can also feed custom textures to the AI and get even more suggestions. Additionally backgrounds and final image presentation stages can also be generated with this tool. And this will be a wonderful implementation for tools like Photoshop and Lightroom where artists can easily and quickly make tweaks instead of spending hours masking, conforming or exploring with channels and blend types. The Clever Composite is an AI tool that was also unveiled at the just concluded Adobe Sneak Peek. As we all know, when compositing an image, something that is quite repeatedly done is cropping one element out of another image and carefully clipping that into another to match perspective, lighting and so on. But Clever Composite makes this as easy as flipping a couple of switches. First off, you need to select a point on the principal image and then define the position where you like your new image to appear. And with the help of a search tool and the find point, users can search for a given element which matches the perspective of the principal image. And with a single click, the main element on the searched image is cleaned and content aware out of the searched image into the principal image. And for matching the perspective, a single auto composite button can be clicked and this automatically matches the new image with the principal image. And once this is done, shadows are automatically generated to match the principal image as well. There's also two toggle operators which can be used to auto scale and also add shadows. Meanwhile, there's already some AI implementation coming to Illustrator 2023 with the magnetic type and vector edge taking center stage. The magnetic type just simply allows users to attach vectors to text and edit them in real time. Furthermore, 
with this AI integration, artists can tweak and also transfer image textures to text and vice versa. This works for both hand-drawn images which can automatically be extracted with a single click and get attached to different types of faces easily. The Vector Edge is also another very nice implementation in Adobe Illustrator right now, which just simply uses a set of three-dimensional alignment for labels and content placement on mockups. And this is a great addition for product illustrators. So this is more like it. The future of AI tools looks extremely promising with a huge set of tools coming to artists and making their lives even more easier. Hopefully in the coming years, we will be seeing these implemented in Photoshop, Lightroom and potentially in some other photo editing tools. Tell me what you guys think about these ones in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.